What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Tom Toughness coming at you with, yes, another Leap Bata reaction. And you know what? Leapers will disappoint you. You guys didn't tell me that Mr. Elite Bata did a guitar cover of one of my favorite songs of all time growing up. Oh, yeah. Bon Jovi, It's My Life. I was a Bon Jovi fanatic growing up. And this song, when this released when I was in middle school, whew, yeah, this this was my jam back at that time. And it, yeah, I scouted, I, I, I creeped into his little catalog of covers and originals that he'd done, and I stumbled across this one. And yeah, I, there's no way I'm not, I, there's no way I'm going to skip this one. So here we are. Uh, yeah, Bon Jovi, it's my life. I'm so excited to see what he's going to do with this. Every time he blows my mind, he wows me. He's just an incredible talent. And that's all there is to it. He's he's just a great person. But anyways, guys, do me a favor before we dive in here to this awesome, soon-to-be awesome reaction slash view. Uh, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button just so I know that you guys enjoy us reacting to Mr. Elite Bata. I mean, if you guys want him to keep staying on the channel, that's what I need you guys to do for me. It's always appreciated, and thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you, thank you. So here we go, Mr. Elite Bata. It's my life. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Look at his natural play style, man. He's like, he's playing, but like he's just kind of zoned off because he knows what he's doing is already perfect. I mean, every note's right on. You can sing along to it, kind of like what I'm doing, except I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm just lip syncing. Because if I sing it vocally, I'm going to destroy his cover and you guys will be sorely disappointed and you'll all hate me forever. So I'm not going to do that to you this time. But man, I just, man, this song brings back so many memories to me, man. And this was actually... Don't tell my wife, but this was actually my first girlfriend and I's, this was our song. This was our love song together. Yeah, believe it or not, it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she'll probably end up seeing this video and be like, what the hell, where's our love song? Well, maybe Ali Batat will do our love song. Who knows? But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, he's, he's doing what he does. Incredible, incredible musician. I mean... You guys don't really necessarily want me to call him a musician. He's a he's a guitar player. It's a hobby for him because he's a he's actually in real life a forklift driver. So he does his you know his day day shift job. Comes home and is just like you know what I need to relax after relax after a hard day's worth of work. I'm gonna chill and play some guitar and kick some ass at it. And that's what he does every time. So let's keep going. The other thing 
is that he's really damn good. Okay? I don't know if I've stressed that enough. Hence why I keep reacting to this guy. Because once I find somebody that I'm truly, truly enjoying, you know I'm going to keep coming back to him. And this guy just deserves so much attention. It's so cool seeing something like this. A nice, humble human being that just plays really good guitar music, man. I could just jam out to this guy literally all day, just relax and listen to his music. And I remember when Bon Jovi released... Uh, one of their albums, it was they turned like all their big hits into acoustic. I think it's called Two Lefts Don't Make a Right, if I remember right, something like that. Uh, I had that album growing up, and there were some pretty good ones. Some of them I was just like, eh, I prefer the original more. But I'm actually going to go out and say that I prefer this version, his version, to their acoustic version. Um, and it's not to say that that their acoustic version was bad because it wasn't. It's just I love what they're doing here, how they're incorpor- how he's incorporating to where you're able to sing along. And that's, I think that's a big reason why I keep coming back to him just because that's another thing that just kind of attaches me to his music. It's just a feel good beat or a feel good rhythm uh, to what he's playing. So hats off to him. You gotta do the solo. Going back, I was hoping he was gonna do it. Oh no, my only complaint the song's too short. Give me like an extended version, please. Remix, Elite Bata, remix of this. I want more, damn it. And I'm sure you guys do too after listening to that. That was so badass. That that ending, man. I was hoping that there was going to be a climactic ending because he does it a lot with all the other reactions I've done so far of him. He adds a little bit of a leap into it. And that's so cool. It makes it unique. Uh, but man, you, I, I couldn't even pay attention. I was fast as fingers were moving. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I can't get enough of this guy. I cannot wait until uh, we react to him again, which will probably be very shortly. You know how it works around here. But anyways, guys, I'm Tom Tufflets. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out. Thank you so much for your support. Truly appreciate it. And I hope if you guys enjoy listening to Mr. Lee Vital, you'll come back for the next one as well. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Stay safe. And goodbye.